I'm Sally Cole with Story Hour Academy. This is our review lesson of syllables. A syllable is a unit of pronunciation having one vowel sound which makes your jaw drop. There are six syllable types in the English language. You can use the C-O-L-E-R-E-V COLREV acronym to remember the six syllable types. C stands for closed syllable. A closed syllable is a syllable where a single vowel letter is closed in by one or more consonant letters and usually makes a short vowel sound, like AB. O stands for open syllable. An open syllable is a syllable that ends with a single vowel letter, which usually makes a long vowel sound, like D. LE stands for consonant LE syllable. A consonant LE syllable is a syllable at the end of a word with a consonant LE pattern like bowl, where B is the consonant and L-E is the L-E. R stands for R-controlled syllable. An R-controlled syllable is a syllable with an R-controlled vowel sound, like R. E stands for vowel consonant E syllable. A vowel consonant E syllable is a syllable that ends with a vowel consonant E pattern, where the E is silent and the spoken vowel makes a long vowel sound, like an ache. And V stands for vowel team syllable. A vowel team syllable is a syllable where the vowel sound is spelled with a multi-letter phonogram. Ale is an example of a vowel team syllable. Now, let's write and read some closed syllables. Get out a paper and pencil and write down ab. Ab is a closed syllable that has a short vowel, a, that says a, and a consonant B that says B, AB. Next, write EB. EB is a closed syllable that has a short vowel E, E, and a consonant B that says B. Next, write IB. IB is a closed syllable that begins with a short vowel I that says I, and a consonant letter B that says B. Next, write AB. AB is a closed syllable that begins with the short vowel O, A, and ends with a consonant B that says B. And then write UB. UB is a closed syllable that begins with a short vowel U that says A, uh, and ends with a consonant B that says B. Ab, eb, ib, ob, ub. Now you may remember with closed syllables that if a consonant letter comes before the vowel letter in the closed syllable, it doesn't change the vowel sound. And so you can have lab, leb, lib, lob, lub, for example. Let's write those down. For lab, we use an L that says O, an A that says A, and a B that says B. For LEB, we have an L that says O, an E that says E, and a B that says B. For LIB, we have an L that says O, an I that says E, and a B that says B. For LOB, we have an L that says O, an O that says A, and a B that says B. And for lub, we have a L that says O, a U that says A, and a B that says B. 
And then, of course, you may remember about closed syllables that you can have more than one consonant before the vowel letter, and it still doesn't change the sound of that vowel. So you can have something like plab, pleb, plib, plob, plub. Let's write that down. For plab, we have a P that says P, an L that says L, an A that says A, and a B that says B. For pleb, we have a P that says P, an L that says L, an E that says E, and a B that says B. For plib, we have a P that says P, an L that says L, an I that says I, and a B that says B. For plob, we have a P that says P, an L that says L, an O that says A, and a B that says B. And for plub, we have a P that says P, an L that says L, a U that says A, and a B that says B. Plab, pleb, plib, plob, plub. And then you may also remember that you can have more than one consonant after the vowel letter in a closed syllable, and it still doesn't change the sound of that vowel. So you can have something like plabs, plebs, plibs, plobs, plubs. So let's write those down. For plabs, we have a P that says P, an L that says L, an A that says A, a B that says B, B, and an S that says S. For plebs, we have a P that says P, an L that says L, an E that says E, a, a B that says B, and an S that says S. For plebs, we have a P that says P, an L that says L, an I that says E, a, a B that says B, and an S that says S. For plobs, we have a P that says P, an L that says L, an O that says A, a B that says B, and an S that says S. For plubs, we have a P that says P, an L that says L, a U that says A, a B that says B, and an S that says S. Plabs, plebs, plibs, plobs, plubs. These are all examples of closed syllables because in each one you have a single vowel letter that is closed in by one or more consonant letters. Now let's write and read some open syllables. First write bay with a B that says B and an A that makes a long A sound A, bay. This is the first syllable in the word baby. Next write B with a B that says B and an E that makes the long E sound E, B. This is the first syllable in the word between. Next write by with a B that says B and an I that makes a long I sound I. By. This is the first syllable in the word biceps. Next write bow with a B that says B and an O that makes a long O sound O. Bow. Bow is the first syllable in the word bovine. Next, write bu with a B that says B and a U that makes a long U sound U. Bu. Bu is the first syllable in the word bugle. Next, write day with a D that says D and an A that makes a long A sound A. Day is the first syllable in the word datum, which means a piece of information. Next write D with a D that says D and an E that makes a long E sound E. D. D is the first syllable in the word delete. Next write die. 
the D that says D, and an I that makes a long I sound I, die, die is the first syllable in the word divert, which means to distract from something. Next write DO with a D that says D, and an O that makes a long O sound O, DO. DO is the first syllable in the word DONUT. And next write DO with a D that says D, and a U that says OO. DO is the first syllable in the word duplex, which is a house divided into two apartments. Let's read these quickly. Bay, B, by, bo, bu. Day, d, di, do, do. I want you to notice with bu and do that the u has two long vowel sounds. It has the long U sound, which you'll see in a dictionary like this, with a consonant Y followed by the long double O, U. U is the U in BU, whereas just the double O all by itself, U is the U in DO. So these were all examples of open syllables because they are syllables that end with a single vowel letter that's making a long vowel sound. Now let's write and read some consonant LE syllables. First write bull. Bull is spelled with a B that says B and then the LE that ends a consonant LE syllable. Bull. Coal. Begins with a C that says K and ends with the LE that says L. Coal. Dull. Begins with a D that says D and ends with a LE that says L. Dull. Full. Begins with a F that says F. It ends with the LE that says L, full. Next is goal. Goal begins with a G that says G. It ends with the LE that says L, goal. And then pull begins with a P that says P. It ends with the LE that says L, pull. Then you've got tool that begins with a T that says T and ends with the LE that says O, tool, and zl begins with a Z that says Z and ends with the LE that says O, zl. Let's read these quickly. Bull, coal, dull, full, goal, pull, tool, zl. Keep in mind that this is a syllable type that you find at the end of a word. For example, bull comes at the end of able, coal comes at the end of cycle, dull comes at the end of fiddle, full comes at the end of raffle, goal comes at the end of angle, pull comes at the end of Apple, tool comes at the end of turtle, and zool comes at the end of dazzle. Now let's write and read some R controlled syllables. The main ingredient of an R controlled syllable is an R controlled phonogram, so let's write some of those down. Write down R. Spelled A R says R. Write down er. E R says er. Also, I R says er. Also, 
you are says er. Write down or. O R says or. In an R controlled syllable, a consonant can come before the R controlled phonogram and not change the vowel sound. For example, in bar, burr, and bore. So bar can be spelled with a B that says b and an AR that says R. Bar. Burr, as an R controlled syllable, could be spelled with a B that says b, followed by an ER, burr, or B that says b, followed by an IR that says er, burr, or B that says b, followed by a UR that says er, burr, and then bore can be spelled with a B that says B, followed by a OR. Bore. And then, of course, with an R controlled syllable, you can have consonant letters that follow the R controlled phonogram. For example, barn. Barn is spelled with a B that says B, the AR phonogram that says R, and an N that says M. Barn. Next we have birth, as in a built-in bed on a ship or train. This type of birth is spelled with a B that says B, a ER that says ER, and a TH that says S. And then you have a different kind of birth, as in the emergence of a baby from the body of its mother. And that's spelled with a B that says B, an IR that says er, and a TH that says s. Birth. And then you can have the word burn with a B that says b, a UR that says er, and an that says m. Mm, burn. And then you can have born, as in B that says b. OR that says OR, and N that says N, born, as in existing as a result of birth. So let's read these all quickly. R, ER, 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 OR, BAR, BUR, 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 BOR, BARN, BIRTH, BIRTH, BURN, BORN. These are all R controlled syllables because they're syllables with an R controlled vowel sound. Let's write and read some vowel consonant E syllables. First one is eight. Eight begins with an A that says A, a T that says T, and a silent final E. Next, write eat. Eat begins with an E that says E, a T that says T, and a silent final E. Next, write IT. IT begins with an I that makes a long I sound I, a T that says T, and a silent final E. Next, write OAT. OAT begins with an O that says O, a T that says T, and a silent final E. And next, write ute with a U that says U, a T that says T, and a silent final E. Let's say these quickly. Eight, eat, eight, oat, ute. Now, of course, with a vowel consonant E syllable, you can put one or more consonant letters before the spoken vowel sound and not change the sound of that vowel letter. For example, mate. Mate begins with an M that says M, and then has a A that makes a long A sound, a T that says T, and a silent final E that's making that A make that long sound, mate. 
or meat. You can have an M that says M, the E that makes a long E sound, E, a T that says T, and a silent final E. Meat is to dispense or allot justice. Then you can have might with an M that says M, mm, an I that says I, a T that says T, and a silent final E to make that I make that long sound, might, which is a minute arachnid. You can have moat with an M that says M, mm, an O that says O, a T that says T, and a silent final E. A moat is a tiny piece of a substance. And then you can have mute with an M that says M, mm, a U that says U, a T that says T. And a silent final E. Mute. To mute is to deaden, muffle, or soften the sound of. So let's say these fast. Mate, meet, might, moat, mute. These are all vowel consonant E syllables because they are syllables that end with a vowel consonant E pattern where the E is silent and the spoken vowel makes a long vowel sound. Let's write and read some vowel team syllables, starting with rain. Rain begins with the R that says er, and then you've got the multi-letter vowel phonogram, AI, that makes a long A sound, A, and an N that says N. Mm. Er, A, N, mm, rain. Next, play. We have a P that says P, an L that says O, and the A, Y phonogram that makes a long A sound. A, P, O, A, play. Next, we have eight. Eight is spelled with a four letter phonogram, E, I, G, H, that says A. And a T that says T, A, T, eight. And then tree. Tree is spelled with a T that says T, an R that says er, and the double E phonogram that makes a long E sound. E, T, er, E, tree. Next we have night. Night is spelled with an N that says N. Three letter phonogram, I, G, H, that says I. And a T that says T, N, I, T, night. Next we have boat. Boat begins with a B that says B. It's got the O, A phonogram that makes a long O sound, O. And a T that says T, B, O, T, boat. Next we've got Ock. Ock is spelled with A, U that says A and a K that says Ock. Next we have paw. Paw is spelled with a P that says P. And the AW phonogram that says AW. P. AW. Paw. Next we have foil. That begins with an F that says F. And then an OI that says OI. And an L that says O. F. OI. O. Foil. Next we have joy. Joy begins with a J that says J. And a OY vowel phonogram that says OY. Joy. And finally, we have fruit. Fruit begins with the F that says F. An R that says ER. UI that says U. And a T that says T. F. ER. U. T. Fruit. These are all vowel team syllables because they're syllables where the vowel sound is spelled with a multi-letter phonogram. Now, let's talk about syllable division rules. Rule number one, 
when two consonants come between two vowels, divide between the two consonants. So if you see a pattern inside of a word where you've got a vowel followed by two consonants followed by another vowel, this is a VCCV pattern where you split between the two consonants. For example, doggy. Doggy is spelled D-O-G. G-Y. So where are those vowels? Let's mark them with V underneath. The O that says A ah is a vowel and a Y that says E is a vowel. And between these two vowels, we don't have just one consonant, we have two consonants. So that matches this pattern. VCCV. VCCV. And when two consonants come between two vowels, you divide the syllables between the two consonants. So that means that we have one closed syllable here with a dog and one open syllable here with gi. And when you say dog and gi together fast, you only pronounce the g that says g once. So you end up with doggy. Another example here is the word rainbow. Rainbow is spelled with an R that says er, an AI that says A, an N that says M, a B that says B, and an OW that says O. So where are our vowels here? Well, we've got AI as one of our vowels. We've got OW as another one of our vowels. And what's going on between those vowels? We have two consonants. So we have a VCCV pattern again. And when two consonants, the N and the B, come between two vowels, the AI and the OW, divide between the two consonants. So we make a syllable division right here. And you end up with a vowel team syllable, rain, followed by a vowel team syllable, bow, rain, bow. Okay, next example is invite. Invite is spelled with an I that says I, an N that says N, a V that says V, an I that makes a long I sound I, a T that says T, and a silent final E. So where are the vowels in invite? Well, we've got the short I, I, and N. We've got the long I, I, and fight. We have a silent final E here, but we're not going to mark that because it doesn't make a sound. We're just marking the spoken vowel letters. Now what's going on between these two vowels? Well, you've got the consonant letter N and the consonant letter V. So here we go. V, C, C, V pattern means that you put the syllable division between the two consonants. So right here. And you end up with one closed syllable where the I makes a short I sound, I, N, and one vowel consonant E syllable where the E is a silent final E, that's telling us to make that I make a long I sound. Vite. Invite. Here's our next syllable division rule. If there is one consonant between two vowels, first try to divide after the first vowel. If that doesn't work, try to divide it after the middle consonant. All right, let's get some more space here to explore this rule. So they're saying if there's one consonant between two vowels, so that means there's a pattern here of vowel, 
consonant vowel. For example, the word tiger. Write down T-I-G-E-R. So where's the vowels in tiger? Well, you've got the I as one of your vowels, and the E-R is an R-controlled vowel phonogram. And what's between these two vowels is a G that says G. That's consonant letter. VCV pattern. When you see this pattern, first try to put a syllable division after the first vowel letter. That would be right here. The I is the first vowel, so we put our syllable division after the I. And we end up with one open syllable where the I makes a long I sound, tie, and one R controlled syllable where the ER is our vowel sound, gur, tie, gur. Other words that divide like this are paper, spelled P A P E R. And repair, spelled R E P A I R. Let's look for the pattern. In paper, we've got a vowel letter A and an R controlled vowel phonogram, E R. In between these two vowels is a consonant letter P, V C V pattern. In repair, we have the vowel letter E here, and a vowel team, AI, here, and between them we have a consonant letter P. So first, in a VCV pattern, we will try to put the syllable division after the first vowel letter. So in paper we put it here, and in repair we put it here. And that gives us an open syllable at the beginning of the word, where the A makes a long vowel sound, pay, and an R controlled syllable at the end of the word, where the ER makes our vowel sound, per, pay, per. And in repair, we also have an open syllable at the beginning, where the E makes a long E sound, E, in re. And the second syllable in this word is an R-controlled syllable because the AI phonogram is being influenced by the R to say air for pair, repair. Sometimes dividing after the first vowel in a VCV pattern doesn't work. Instead, you have to put the syllable division after the consonant that follows the first vowel. So this happens in words like robin, spelled R-O-B-I-N, cover, spelled C-O-V-E-R, and lemon, spelled L-E-M-O-N. Now let's look for the vowels in these words. For robin, we have a vowel with O and a vowel with I. For cover, we have a vowel with O, a vowel with ER. And for lemon, we have a vowel with E and a vowel with O. Now let's look at what's between the two vowels. Well, in robin, we have the consonant letter C. In cover, we have the consonant letter V. And in lemon, we have the consonant letter M. So here we have this VCV pattern. But in this pattern, we cannot divide after the first vowel letter because we'd have ro, bin, co, ver, and li, mon. And those aren't words. 
So we're going to try to put a syllable division after the middle consonant. That would be after the consonant at, in this part of the pattern. So right here, and right here, and right here. And what that gives us is a first syllable that is a closed syllable where the first vowel letter makes a short sound. So you have rob for your first syllable in robin, cove for your first syllable in cover, and lem for your first syllable in lemon. And that's how the VCV pattern can be divided into syllables. Now here, here is our third syllable division rule. If you see consonant L E, go to the end and count back three. We've worked with this rule already, so let's use it on three words. First word, apple. A P P L E. Second word, uncle. U N C L E. And third word, Title, T I T L E. All right, now we see a pattern in all of these words of consonant, where the P is a consonant, followed by L E. In uncle, the C is a consonant, followed by L E. In title, the T is a consonant, followed by L E. When you hear have, that consonant LE pattern, you go to the end and count back three to know where to put your syllable division. So apple is divided between the two P's. Uncle is divided between the N and the C because one, two, three. And title is divided between the I and the T because one, two, three. And so in apple, you're left with a first syllable that's a closed syllable where the A makes a short sound. A, P. In uncle, you end up with a closed syllable in the first syllable where the U makes a short sound. A uh, in un. And in title, you end up with an open syllable for your first syllable where the I makes a long I sound. I. And so you have app, pull, say it together fast, apple. Un, coal, say it together fast, uncle. And tie, toll, say it together fast, title. Good job. That brings us to our fourth syllable division rule. If there are two vowels together, that are not part of a multi-letter phonogram. Divide between the two vowels. Let's get some more space and study this one a bit closer. So they're saying, if you have two vowels together between two consonants, like this, and they're not part of a multi-letter phonogram, so they're not part of, say, A-I that says A, or O-I that says OI, or double E that says E, and so on. Then you put the syllable division between the two vowels right here. So let's look at some words where that happens. First word is lion, spelled L-I-O-N. Next word is create, spelled C-R-E-A-T-E. -E. And next word, diet, spelled D-I-E-T. And these words, the vowel letters are not working together as a team to make one vowel sound. Instead, they're each making their own individual vowel sounds. And so we're going to put our syllable division between the two vowels. 
like right there. So let's let's look for the pattern before we do that. Here, the L is a consonant, I is a vowel, O is a vowel, N is a consonant. Here, our first vowel letter is an E, our second vowel letter is an A, and there's the two vowels are surrounded by consonants. Here, our first vowel is I, second vowel is E, and they're surrounded by two consonants. So we've got the CVVC pattern. When you see this pattern, you can try to put your syllable division between the two vowel letters. And that'll give you two syllables. In this case, the first syllable is now Cree because it's an open syllable where it ends with a single vowel letter that makes a long vowel sound, E, Cree. And the second syllable is a VCE syllable where the E is silent. It's telling us that the A makes a long A sound. Eight. Eight is the second syllable. Create. And diet, we would put the syllable division between the two vowels. And that gives us an open syllable over here where the I makes a long I sound, die, and a closed syllable over here where the E makes a short E sound, e eh, in et, die, et, diet. Now, of course, you wouldn't put a syllable division in a word like meet, as in meet me at the park, because even though this follows the pattern where you have vowel, two vowel letters between two consonant letters. This is a vowel team, so it really only counts for one vowel sound. And it makes this a vowel team syllable, just a one syllable word, not a two syllable word that you'd be dividing between the two vowels. I hope that makes sense. Now I have just one more syllable division rule for you. This is rule number five. If you have more than two consonants together between two vowels, look for letter teams such as multi-letter, phonograms, digraphs, and blends. Aim to keep the letters in these letter teams together in the same syllable. So, get some more space here. The pattern we are looking for now is a vowel, consonant, consonant, consonant vowel pattern. So, a pattern where you have more than two consonants between two vowels. Let's look at some words that match this pattern. We have monster, spelled M O N S. T E R Pilgrim P I L G R I M Explode E X P L O D E Athlete A T H L E T E and mushroom M U S H R O O M. So, first let's identify the vowels in these words. Well, with monster, we have a vowel here and we have an R controlled value vowel here. In Pilgrim, we have a vowel here and a vowel here. and Explode, we have a vowel here and a spoken vowel here. Silent final E is not a spoken vowel, so we won't mark that one. In Athlete, we have a vowel here and a vowel here. This is a silent final E, so we won't mark that one. And in Mushroom, we have a vowel here and a vowel team here. 
Now what's going on between these vowels? Well, we've got three consonants. N is a consonant, S is a consonant, T is a consonant. Here again, three consonants, L, G, and R. Here again, three consonants, X, P, and L. Here again, three consonants, T, H, and L. And here again, three consonants, S, H, and R. Now to divide these words up into their syllable parts, you want to keep any multi-letter phonograms, consonant digraphs, or consonant blends together. And so, let's do these one at a time. In monster, it turns out that ST is a blend where the s and the t sound naturally blend together to form st. So you keep that together and you put the syllable division before that blend here. And you end up with first syllable mon, second syllable stir. Say it together fast, monster. Now in pilgrim, you have a consonant blend with the G that says G and the R that says er. They blend together to say ger. And so you put the syllable division before that blend. And you end up with first syllable pill, second syllable grim. Say it together fast, pilgrim. And explode. You have a consonant blend with PL. So you have a P that says P and an L that says O. That blends together to say pull. So you put your syllable division before the blend. And you have first syllable X, second syllable plode. Say it together fast, explode. And athlete, you have a consonant digraph, TH, that you want to keep together. So you put the syllable division after the TH. And you end up with a first syllable ath, second syllable leet. And in mushroom, you have the consonant digraph sh that you want to keep together. So you put the syllable division after the sh right here. So you end up with a first syllable mush and a second syllable room. Say it together fast, mushroom. Great job reviewing syllable types and syllable division rules with me today. Now, if you would like to practice these rules, you can do that by finding 10 two-syllable words from a book of your choice. Write the two-syllable words down on a piece of paper, and then find the syllable breaks in each of the 10 words. This will leave you with 20 syllables. Examine each of the 20 syllables in order to determine the syllable type for each of the 20 syllables. For example, you could do this with the book called The Velveteen Rabbit. What you'll find is that the first 10 two-syllable words in The Velveteen Rabbit are the words rabbit, become, really, splendid, Bunchy, spotted, whiskers, sateen, Christmas, and morning. So if you chose the Velveteen Rabbit for your book, you would write those 10 words down, divide them up into their syllable parts, and then figure out which type of syllable each of the 20 syllables are. So give it a try. Good luck with that assignment and see you again here soon at Story Hour Academy.